Hello everyone. So this tutorial is mainly um, for when we are uh, when we want to add some uh, surface uh, later on uh, in our simulation. For example, we have already created the volume mesh, or we have run some simulation studies, and suddenly we notice that we need an internal surface to monitor maybe. Uh, velocity, maybe temperature, or pressure drop, or something like that. Uh, how can we add into your surface later on? It can be into your surface, it can be wall, anything. Now we can uh, just directly use the uh, uh, create new surface, but what that does is it creates a cross sectional surface throughout the whole plane and controlling it. Is very difficult. You can always uh, create a nice rectangular one or a square one. But for example, if you need a internal surface, a circular internal surface, uh, to give you an example, let's say this is a box or a tank, and flow rate is going through this pump, and maybe I forgot to create an interior surface to monitor the flow rate or the pressure drop through this pump. Uh, I need two surfaces. Uh, one is before the pump and after the pump. And I, by mistake, didn't create the surface. So what do I do? I do I need to run, create the mesh again, and then run the simulation again? It's too hectic because I already have the result, and it does. This surface will not have play any role in the simulation. So to post process it, uh, what we can do is we can add additional surfaces later on uh, by imprinting a surface. It can be handful in different ways depending on the usage. So what I will show you, so I will I have already created using another tool. I used ANSA, but whatever tool you're using for your geometry creation and meshing. So let's say for, I forgot to create this interior surface. So I opened up the geometry again, and then I created the surface, and I created a mesh uh, uh, on the surface and saved it for only this surface. So it's just a kilobyte mesh file. Uh, I, I used the original geometry to create this uh, interior surface because uh, I want it exactly at that location so that it's not overlapping or at some other location. Okay, so after I created that, what I will do is um, I will imprint it in uh, this already ran simulation. So I already have finished the simulation, and later on I notice that I need to add this surface. Uh, maybe there is a leak, so I need to uh, uh, measure how much uh, flow rate is leaking through that surface. Okay, so I want to create the surface over there. Uh, as you can see, the simulation is done already. Uh, otherwise, this contour and everything will not be shown. Uh, so to imprint a surface, go to Surface, Create, Imprint, and just to uh, make sure, so I imprinted one surface, uh, just to test it out. So I'll imprint another one, okay? So it would add as an imprinted surface. Usually when you create a cross-sectional surface, it does not show in here, right? Uh, we can monitor it for the contours, but I think maybe it does not show in here. Anyways, uh, so to add it, uh, initially it was like this, okay? So you have to read the file first. Uh, so I have already saved the file. So these are all small. You can see the size kilobyte files. Uh, or some interior surfaces in the geometry. So let's say I want to import this one, corner hole too. Okay, so select this one. This is very important. I created the mesh in millimeter. So select whichever unit you have created the mesh in so that it will scale it automatically, okay, when importing. So millimeter, click OK. And if it doesn't go well, it would give you an error, but my one went well. Uh, most of the time we make the mistake of not selecting the right unit. And sometimes it's out of the bound and it can't import it or read it. Select all the zones, okay? So it would match with all the zones. 
Uh, you can put different name in here. I'm just going with default. Let's say Cora one, the same name. Okay. Imprint. Imprint. Okay. And create. So I think it's already created. To check it, I'll just go to contour. And you can see this is the uh, surface I have imprinted. And now I can monitor any variable values over there. Or even, let me check if it is in the boundary condition or not. I don't think it should should not come in the boundary condition. It's just for monitoring purpose. Uh, but let me double check. Yes, so you cannot use it as a boundary, it's only for monitoring purpose, so you can use that for the post-processing uh, to create other variables. I hope this helps. Thank you very much.